Hey guys, let's talk about Tailwind CSS today. It's my favorite framework if I'm being honest. I think of it as IKEA of CSS frameworks. And to understand why I say that, you got to take a look at more traditional approaches like Bootstrap and Bulma. What they do is they give you pre-made UI components that you can directly plug into your app. You need a card? All right, just add the card class to your dev and you're good to go. Well, that sounds nice, right? Because they do a lot of the work for you. But no, there's a catch. They're limiting and they're hard to customize. So what ends up happening is your site looks really generic and similar to all the other websites that are using that same framework. Yes, you can tinker with it, you can customize it, but most people would just go to the lens of changing the colors and stuff. And if you want to customize the bones of it, how it's structured and stuff, you're basically fighting against the framework at that time and that's not a war you want to be part of. What Tailwind CSS does is, it flips the game completely on its head. It doesn't give you reusable components, but rather it gives you all the classes, all the stuff that you need, and you can compose them together to make your UI as you like. It's a utility first framework. It gives you utility classes like let's say MT-2 to add a margin top of 0.5 rem, or let's say BG-Blue-300 to add a background of light blue. And using all that, you can compose your UI as you like. So, like think of Tailwind CSS as Lego for web developers. Alright guys, that being said, starting tomorrow, I have a Tailwind CSS tutorial series coming up on YouTube. What we'll do is basically go through how to make several different components like let's say a button group, a card, a tooltip, a dialog box. And for all those, we'll also see how to add in the interactivity using JavaScript. So if that's something that you're into, definitely just go and subscribe right now. I'll have the link in my bio. Alright guys, then see you in the tutorials.